Hello YouTube. Customs are back. Well, sort of, kind of. <laughs> We're going to try a different method, um, and I'm going to walk you through the uh, the steps here, and um, try to 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 get the process to where you can in, understand it anyway. But uh, anyway, we're going to only uh, select 40 custom bills for the year of 2022. This is a trial run, and so we're going to, well, see how it goes. Um, and right now I'm anticipating doing about four a month. Um, so um, I think we'll start the custom bills in about February. So 40 will give me uh, the last four of them in December. Okay, so basically, um, let me um, move the camera down and uh, get on the website and let me show you how, how where to find all this stuff and how it works, okay? All right, I hope, I hope everybody can see this. All right, so you go to my website up here um, and This is this is this is what's going to come up once you go to the website then you'll see this page come up and this is the home page and if you scroll down the home page there's all kinds of information there there's models and where to get them all of these right here is see how your cursor turns to a little little finger right there that means that's a link it's not different color but it's a link to that it takes you directly to that web store Okay, you see the little cursor right there? So if you run your cursor over those names, it'll take you to those dealers. And it's on every model, this popular model. It gives you specs, it gives you dealers. There's just all kinds of information on the home page. For those of you who don't know what a model is, if you go to the home page, you'll find it right there more than likely. Okay? All right, so anyway, back up at the top. And also this kind of gives you an idea of, of how things... Uh, um, works anyway okay over here is a menu over on this corner so if you click on that those little three hashes they'll see those three hashes over here in the corner if you click on those a menu will drop down okay there's the home screen where you're at authorized dealers that'll click give you the authorized dealer web page and their their links and right here it says custom bill worksheet click on that and this is a worksheet for your your uh, custom bill to be considered. Again, I will only accept 40 for this year of 2022. See, it says, if selected, your knife will be built sometime during the year of 2022. I am only selecting 40 individual, only one per customer, okay? Um, and I will update the bill status during the two-week bi-monthly pro progress videos on the YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, then this little blue YouTube right here is blue. If you click on that, it'll take you to my web, my uh, YouTube channel, and you can subscribe and click on the bell for notifications of when a, a video is uploaded. That way you can keep track of the bills and the progress of the, of the shop and everything, okay? And if you miss it there, then you can go over here, down here again, you click on that, and it takes you to my YouTube channel, okay? So they will only be updated through the the, uh, the video on the uh, YouTube channel bi-weekly, or bi-monthly, which is every two weeks. Okay, I ask that if you're selected, please, please, folks, do not send me an email every week and ask me what the status is. Uh, on average, I'm, we intend to do four a, a month. So if you have a, and we're going to assign numbers to your bill. So if you're fourth in line, then your number will be four. So you can probably expect your bill to be at least started in the first month. Okay. If you're 16, that means four divided into 16. That's four months away from when we start in February for your bill. Okay. That kind of gives you an idea or a ballpark or where your bill will be. The last four we anticipate being built sometime in December of 2022. All right. So please do not uh, send emails constantly and asking what the status is. All right. Okay. Uh, 
because I'm, I'm just going to, as it says right here, I'll only reply with the link to the last uh, update video, okay? Um, I recommend subscribing. And if you just read here, I'm kind of reemphasizing re what I've already written here. Um, okay, uh, this right here is, is going to be a, a link to this video once it's posted on the website or on the YouTube channel, okay? says, I will select bills, see in the bold here, I will select bills that inspire me and within my skill set, okay? So if it interests me, I will select it. I'm not going to select everyone who submits something, but if it interests me and it's within my skill set and I think that I can do a good job, then I will select it and let you know. It says, I will not copy well-known knives, so if it's an, a model that is well-known by other makers, I will not build it, Okay? Uh, nor models that are proprietary to my dealers, okay? And if you don't know what's proprietary to a dealer, if you go back up here, over here in the corner, click on the menu, go back up here to home, and scroll down through these models, if it has one right here, if it has one dealer listed to order a, or purchase that knife from, it is proprietary to that one store. If, this, if the model is not proprietary, they could, anybody could buy it, then they will have more than one dealer authorized to sell that, okay? And also, if you see a model that has a, a logo on the blade from a dealer, then that means it's proprietary to their store, okay? All right, um, back to the build uh, form, okay? So... Once, right, we're back here. Once the selection process is completed for this year, this web page will become disabled. So, in other words, once I get the 40, this web page will be disabled. All right. So, if selected, I will send you a PayPal invoice for $200 deposit. Deposits are used to procure materials for agreed build to ensure the materials will be available at the time of the build. We're having issues getting materials, so in order for me to make sure that we're going to be able to build what you want, we're going to buy those materials up front, and that's what that deposit is about. We're going to buy the steel, we're going to buy the handle material, the liners, the pins, everything to build that knife, and we're going to set it up aside in storage somewhere and keep that so when we get to your knife, we'll have the materials on hand, okay? So what that means is... And it says in this, this deal here somewhere, what that means is there's not going to be any changes allowed uh, because once we buy the material, that means that that material is assigned to you. So we can't go in and use, if you say, well, I want a quarter inch of 01, and then um, when we get ready to build, say, oh, I want to change that to a 3 3V. Sorry, that steel has already been procured. Those handle materials have already been procured. So that build is... is set in stone okay so that's what you're going to get all right um it says so deviations from the greed bill will not be possible okay i say that in here it says if a deposit if i send you an invoice from paypal and i do not receive payment within 48 hours then i'm going to cancel that invoice and go to the next uh, uh, person in line okay so you'll lose your chance, all right? So if that, and, uh, if that uh, invoice is not paid within 48 hours of sending it out to you, then uh, we'll go to the next person in line, all right? Uh, once the deposit is received, I will send you a selection number. And this number is how you're going to determine what status your build is. So like I said before, uh, we're anticipating doing four a month. So the first four, if your number is one through four, then anticipate your bill being sometime in February, okay? And then the following month, your bills should be four through eight. Then the following month, eight through uh, 12, so on and so forth, okay? So the last four of the 40, so it'd be 36 through 40, anticipate those bills in December of 2022 okay uh, that'll give you a good idea but it also uh, during my bi-monthly updates I'll just say that we're on custom bills uh, 12 and, and 13 or something like that 
And those people who uh, have been assigned those numbers know who they are. So uh, as I say right here, please keep track of your assigned number, okay? Keep that in your phone, keep that in your wallet, keep it somewhere where you'll know and you can go back and reference it in case you forget what number you are, all right? Okay, um, basic cost will start at $10 per rounded up quarter inch, okay? So that means, and I've got to give an example here. Um, so basically, if, if your knife overall from, from, and we'll use this little mini here as an example, we will measure from tip to pommel. So if this knife is 10 inches all the way across, then that's a $400 knife. That's the base number. Okay, and if there's adds to it, and we'll get to those in the form down here below, then it goes on top of that $400, okay? The, um, it, if your knife is, is nine inches and three eighths, then that three eighths is gonna be rounded up to half inch. It's the nearest quarter, okay? So, and I, it explains it right here. Um, and rounded up to nine and three quarters overall basic cost will be $390, okay? So it gives you an example here. The max allowed length that I will build is 15 inches, and that is from tip to pommel, okay? Your overall max length is 15 inches, okay? Um, adds to this cost will be noted below, and we'll go through that in just a moment, okay? Sheaths, I will not build sheaths for these knives. Uh, you can select your, your preferred builder, or I recommend Randy. I talked to Randy, and he has tooling and things that he can do to customize a sheath. So if you want something that is very um, well built, uh, you know Stitch Gear, and I mean, they, they're phenomenal. Uh, Randy has really got his quality up there to where I will recommend him every day of the week, okay? Um, so his... Uh, link is there get with Randy and work out with him um, uh, uh, for a sheath and like I say he can do tooling he can do uh, different styles of carry uh, it'll be a, 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 a custom bill for that knife it's, it doesn't have to be just something from his website as a, as a, a, a design it could be spe specifically built for that knife okay and to be considered uh, you should fill in every blank on this form, okay? That's the name, your first name, your last name, your email address so that I can contact you. Phone number is not required, but I recommend you doing that in case I need to call and ask questions. Uh, the steel type, put in the type of steel you want and any type of steel you want, we will certainly look at it and, and try to, to get that for you. Now be advised, the CPM steels that's the crucible steels like 3V, CPM 154, uh, CPM S35VN, all of those steels, they are a premium. So add a quarter of an inch or add a dollar per quarter inch to that. So that would be like uh, $11 per quarter inch. So you're looking at $44 per inch, okay? And it says the little note is right there under steel type, okay? Blade thickness above 3 16 please add another dollar per rounded up quarter inch. So if you have one that's 3V and you want a quarter inch thickness, then that is a that is $2 per quarter inch add, okay? So it, it, it the more you add to it, the, the higher your per inch cost is gonna be, okay? And then basically here, just desired cutting edge length, so in other words, what part do you want from your cutting edge here to there, okay? It takes out the choil, so from the cutting edge to there, all right? Uh, the handle length and style, do you want a, a style like this, which is sort of like the, the Kephart style that has this, it's kind of a flat, it's not really a broom handle, broom handle is round, but it's kind of a flat uh, with uh, a little scallops here or do you want my standard Coke bottle handles? Or do you want the Nessie handle? What kind of handle style do you or do you want for your build? Is what I'm asking. 
um, and thickness of the handle. I mean, what is the thickness here that you desire? What is the width? Uh, just things that I can customize this knife to, uh, to get it to fit your hand the best to, that I can. Okay, any information you can give me is what I'm asking for on the handle. Okay, the material, um, basically the basic price includes all my cartas, it includes the sure touch, and it includes some of the, um, the, the woods in the United States like walnut, oak, um, anything that's, that's uh, the, any species that you can get readily available in the U.S., that pricing, the base pricing includes that. But if you want exotic woods like desert ironwood, or if you want uh, black, African blackwood, or anything that is comes in from overseas, then that is a specialty material and will be a cost plus add. Now, take, keep in mind when you start talking about the desert ironwoods and things like that, they're very labor intensive. They uh, it takes a lot, uh, almost twice the number of sand belts to to shape that stuff. It's just very um, work intensive. So. Um, desert ironwood on average I mean the scales are going to be probably about a, a $50 increase plus labor is probably another five then you got another belt to add to it you're looking at probably a $75 add just for desert ironwood okay so just kind of kind of keep that in mind liners uh, 16th inch liners are included in the base price but if you want to add 8th inch liners that's a $20 add to the to the overall knife cost okay um, size and type of pins uh, I recommend quarter inch at the smallest I recommend one eighth um, if you want to do mosaics or different colored pins then a minimum size is what I recommend is a quarter inch if you want to do a center medallion or center pin um, then a lot of times a, a 10 millimeter pin it works best for a center mosaic uh, the um, mosaics add ten dollars per uh, pin so in other words if you have a knife and you want three pins that's thirty dollars for that knife okay it's ten dollars per pin so if you want a brass pin on either side on either side of the knife if you want just a black or a bra or, or brass or whatever the standard then and a center mosaic then that center mosaic is just ten dollars okay um did, did you want special laser etching like your initials do you want a picture do you want uh do you want something special laser etched on your blade uh give me a brief description there if you do if you don't just say no okay if there's things in here that you don't want just say no um uh, give me a brief description of the knife here and if you have pictures or designs if you designed a knife and sketched it out with dimensions and things like that then say uh, sending a sketch or skinning sending pictures and I listed my email address right here so that uh, where you could send it to okay and this last box uh, design concerns or additional request that's basically your your box to put in anything that I might have missed or something you're concerned about. Uh, ask questions there. Um, you know, maybe you require you have very extremely large hands and you want a, an oversized handle, and that's something that you're concerned about. Then please put that in the box. Okay. All right. So. Hopefully all of that is self-explanatory. Well, self-explanatory, but hopefully all of that is easier for both of us to understand what you're you're looking for. Okay, I don't want to uh, to say yes, I'm going to build it, and then come to find out it's something that we're really not equipped to build, and uh, have to have to cancel the order or something like that. The more information you can give me, the better off we both will be. Okay. All right, so I hope this is something that, that uh, goes well. Um, uh, I, 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 I've missed the custom bills because of the, the um, basically the challenge that's there, but uh, it, I don't want it to interfere with the other things, the, the wholesale stuff that we're doing and, and all of that. 
Uh, so anyway, we're going to try it and see how it goes. And um, I hope that it's, it's something that we can continue for the years to come. And uh, we'll see. But anyway, I appreciate you guys. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for, for everything that you do for WC Knives. And um, until the next one, get in the backyard with a little stick. Be sure and take a child with you. Get the opportunity. And don't forget those plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. We'll catch you again very, very soon.